Oh. Oh, hi. Hi there. Hello. Welcome to my channel. It's Keeping Up With Vivi. If you're new, I do fashion, beauty, and lifestyle content. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. So today, I am so excited because I'm going to be bringing this holiday glam look to you in collaboration with one of my very good friends, Lady. She has a YouTube account here where she does clean beauty content, skincare, and she also has an Instagram account, and I'll put all her information down below, but she is such a beautiful person inside and out. She's so passionate about clean beauty, and she does really cool, nice, fun content. Her videos are super funny. Her editing skills are like way better than mine. <laughs> She's gonna be doing a holiday glam today as well, and go check her video out, tell her I sent you, and let's go ahead and get into this holiday look. When I'm going full glam, I normally like to prep my skin with some sort of highlighting primer. Today I'm going in with the Say Beauty Super Glowy Gel in Star Glow. And I just love how this really just gives my skin a really nice lit from within glow. I'm going to be using my Range Beauty True Intentions Foundation. I've also got my festive earrings on, my festive nail polish. It's just little silver nail polish, glitter nail polish. Um, I have on a dress that I would wear to a holiday gathering, party if you will. Um, don't think... Many of those will be happening this year, but if you're going to one, have fun, be safe. Now that we have our foundation on, we can go in and do some spot concealing if necessary. I'm going to spot conceal with my Ilia concealer in number seven, just on a couple of dark spots and of course under my eyes and right down here and under my eyes I'm gonna go in with my Ilia concealer in six as well for highlighting and I think I'll just do just a little bit on the forehead since this is a more full coverage look so I'm gonna let those sit for a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and highlight under my eyes What do y'all want for Christmas this year? I'm always curious to know what's on people's wish lists. Um, if you'd like to share, leave me a comment down below. Mm, what's on my list this year? I just really wanted like a couple of fragrances, a couple of candles. Um, I don't know, like I feel like I don't really need anything. These are just things that I that I would like to have and that's what's on my list this year. I normally just buy myself whatever I want when I can afford to, so I don't really have much to ask for this year. Um of course I like bags and clothes, but those I like luxury bags, so I don't like asking people to buy me a luxury bag. And I don't think anyone in my life would buy me a luxury bag. I remember I wanted luxury bags in high school and my parents were like, you can buy those for yourself. When you when you can afford them, you can buy your own, your own Louis Vuitton bags. We're not buying them for you, so. They have bought me a pre-loved Gucci bag before when I was in college for Christmas, but it was pre low, so it wasn't like a ridiculous price. Let that sit a little bit longer right there, but we're highlighted. I really, really like this combo. I feel like it's a really nice, flawless look on the skin, but your skin still looks like skin. Of course, it's full coverage, but you don't look cakey. So now I'm gonna go in and with my translucent powder from Range Beauty. I have mine in the color Golden Light. You, if you've been watching me for a while, you know how much I love this product. So I don't have too much to say about it. Do we want to go into eyes? I think we're going to go ahead and do eyes and then we'll um, finish off the rest of the face. But I'm so excited about eyes right now because you guys, I have been in love. I mean, in 
love with this eyeshadow from Bodyography. This was my first purchase from Bodyography. I purchased two eyeshadows, but this is the one we're talking about today. This is their new glitter pigment in the color R Glow. It's the most beautiful, iridescent, reflective purple. It has little blue flecks in it as well. It's just, honestly, it's perfect. And it looks so good on me. I had to make it be the eyeshadow that I use for this look today. As a base for my eyelids, I'm gonna go into my little mini vapor palette right here. And I'm gonna go into the dark purple color right here with just a, this is a, I think this is a, yeah, this is a shadow brush from, uh, from It Cosmetics that I got from Ulta. We're gonna zoom in on the eyes so you can see. And I'm just gonna use this dark purple color as just a base and transition for that bright purple eyeshadow. And this kind of just sets the eye down and gives that pigment something to stick to. It's still gonna, I don't need it, but I just like the way that this looks under it and then um, right above it in the crease. This is not a very elaborate eye look, but it's the perfect holiday look to me, and it's definitely something that I would wear to a holiday gathering. I wanted to get too packed right here, so I'm just gonna go in with a brush that has nothing on it to just kinda diffuse that out some. And now I'm gonna go into the pot with my ring finger swirl it around in there and these feel a little bit powdery but once you apply them they don't they don't feel powdery going on they feel more like a cream going on but when you actually touch it in the pot it can feel kind of powdery but do y'all see what i mean like it's just instant glam like this is glam in a pot and you don't have to do much to achieve this look this is literally two products on my eyes you guys then I'm gonna go back in with the brush that we used for to lay down that base shadow and just I didn't add any more product to the brush but I'm just gonna blend those together some and then I'm just gonna add a little bit more because why not now I'm gonna go in with this fluffy eyeshadow brush and take a little bit of my darker concealer and I'm just gonna take some from right off right here tap on the back of my hand and just kind of clean up the edge of that eyeshadow the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this smudger brush and I'm gonna go back into that deep purple and I'm just gonna connect it right here on my lower lash line up into this one. That's the eye look, you guys. Like, it's that easy. I'm gonna do my other eye and I'll be right back. Now that shadow is done, I absolutely love this look. I love this R Glow glitter so, so much. It's so, so pretty and it's so easy to use. It's so easy to wear and cool tones are just for me. I've learned that cool tones are the eyeshadows that I like on me. So I love this look. And now I'm gonna go in with my Cloven Hallow Bronzer in Bora Bora and just lightly bronze my face. And this is a cooler tone bronzer. I don't have a tan right now, and when I don't have a tan, I lean very neutral. Plus, this is a cool tone look, so a cool tone bronzer was the way to go. Not just because, you know, a warm tone bronzer wouldn't look good on me right now, but, you know, the look calls for it as well, so it fits the bill. And this bronzer, honestly, I love this bronzer. I had to scrape it with my with the end of my brush to really be able to pick up product, but since I did that, I have been able to actually pick up product. And for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Era Perez Carrot Color Pot in the color Holy. 
And I haven't used this on my channel yet just because of her shade range when it comes to her foundation. And I did buy her foundation and concealer because I just wanted to see what the hype was about. And I'm the darkest shade in the foundation and the concealer. And the concealer is a little bit light for me. I don't know if I'm going to review it yet just because the shade range is terrible. I think they have seven or eight shades. But I love these carrot color pots because they're cream blush but it's one of those cream blushes that doesn't leave that heavy thick oily emollient feel on your skin and I really don't like that feeling and I love that this is still a cream blush but it doesn't leave that effect on your skin now I'm going to apply the big clean mascara because this mascara gives you those wow, fluffy, volumized eyelashes, and that's what I'm going for with this look today. So I'm going to put that on. Now I'm gonna go in with some highlight, and my new favorite highlight is Peau de Peche from Westman Atelier. This highlight is just, I don't have words for it. It's just the most beautiful highlight I think I've ever put on my face. Do you guys, do y'all see that? Like, do you see that? I know it's expensive. Like, I know it's expensive. And this was gifted to me, but I would buy this. Um, I need to see what other colors they have. I think they have one that's rosier than this. This is peach, but to me, it, on me, it pulls kind of rose gold. I need to go see what their rose one looks like online. Do I need some more? bronzer and lastly for lips we're gonna go in with my new favorite combo that i just discovered the other day because both of these products are pretty new to me where is the lip liner okay so i'm gonna be using the victoria beckham beauty lip liner in 06 and this is a very deep dark brown lip liner i actually just reviewed this lip liner along with 04 and two of her lid lusters. I'll link that video here for you. This is low-key a vibe on its own. It gives me a very vampy look um, to my lips, but we're gonna add the Fit Glow Beauty lipstick in the color Rooted. This is the perfect brownie mauve nude for me when it comes to fall and winter time. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this lip combo. Do y'all see this lip? No, but do, but do y'all really, but do y'all really see this lip? She's not playing any games, like, she's here and she's here to, day okay y'all i'm in love with this lip and this look Ooh. hold on hold on hold on hold on let me gather myself really quickly but i am living for the hot lit day look you guys i love this look so much let me know what you guys think about the look down below because She's here and I love her. Anyways, happy holidays to everyone. I hope you've all been doing well this December. My thoughts are with everyone this holiday season. I hope you're all staying safe and warm if you're in a cold place. Cool if you're in a hot place like Australia. I don't even know if I have any viewers in Australia, but I know it's summertime down under. Make sure you check out Lady's video as well. She is a very good friend of mine, like I said. If you love my channel, you'll definitely love her channel. She's super passionate about clean beauty and skincare, and she just makes really great content, and she's just a beautiful person inside and out. So let her know that I sent you, and this was Keeping Up With BB. I'll catch you guys next time.